So the original Nasty Women exhibit, um, if we give you some background, was started by a group of women out of New York City. Um, they got together right after the election and uh, right before the inauguration, they uh, rented a gallery in Manhattan and hosted an art show similar to this. Mm -hmm. They raised $42,000 in, in a couple of weeks uh, for Planned Parenthood. And so I called them up and I said, hey, can I also do a satellite exhibit here in Tucson? And they said, yeah, sure, go ahead. And after they said yes and sent me the graphics folder, I realized I'm not a curator, I'm not a director, I don't know anything about art. Uh, but I said, uh, well, we'll just wing it, we'll just do it. Uh, so we had one in April at Borderlands Brewery in town, downtown. Uh, and we, in a weekend, in 48 hours, raised 15000 mm. for Planned Parenthood. Um, this, the last show in April uh, at Borderlands was just a 48-hour weekend thing. Mm -hmm. um, we sold out of the art, um, and it was very short. Uh, people like beer, so they also showed up for that. There is no beer at Bentley's, um, but there's great coffee and food. And I wanted this event um, at Bentley's, being that Bentley's is, you know, a 33-year-old staple of Tucson uh, to be a meeting place for people to come and look at the art, um, maybe buy any of it if they want to support Planned Parenthood, and to really just have a coffee and a conversation about it. The rest of the art, there's a lot of feminist art, there's a lot mm -hmm. of, um, you know, women's bodies, there's a lot of um, um, women's expressions in abstract or, or non-abstract mm -hmm. form of, of how they feel. Um, a lot of photos, a lot of drawings, a lot of um, acrylic, oil, nudes. Um, there's one that's kind of black and white, like our background here. Um, it's a big, you'll have to go, it's really hard to explain. Yeah, art. the one I'm thinking of is like in the corner. Yeah, I think. no, yeah. I know exactly what you're yeah, talking yeah. about. It's like a sheet uh -huh. and it's, and it's a scrunched up in a certain way. It's a very large piece mm -hmm. um, and it has a woman's face on it and it's the artist's self-portrait. Oh, okay. Um, and she's like screaming. And it was, um, she, it, was, it was with spray paint and stencils, which is very difficult on a non-flat surface. Mm. She did a great job of it. It looks excellent. Yeah, yeah that sure. was great. Um, so we have, we have several hundred submissions okay. from maybe about 100 artists this time. Oh, very cool. Um, last time we had about 300 submissions from, I think, over 100, 150 artists. Okay. Yeah. Great. But I think yeah. Tucson has been very engaged. Um, mm -hmm. And I'm starting to see, you know, why, um, why we're engaged. We're engaged in Tucson because a lot of us are minorities. Mm -hmm. A lot of us are immigrants. Um, a lot of us came from or are in, you know, low-income families mm -hmm. uh, that rely on Planned Parenthood and Planned Parenthood services, such as cancer screenings and, you know, mammograms and. Um, family planning services that are not just abortion. I think family planning decisions, positive or negative, are difficult decisions and emotional decisions to make. Mm -hmm. And I don't think it's anybody's place, um, whether you're pro-life or pro-choice, to put your own opinions on other people. The intention is, I think, very uh, patriarchal. Mm -hmm. um, the law of a 72-hour waiting period in many states basically uh, flies in the face of our own decision-making ability as women. It says, I'm not informed enough to make a decision about what I want in my life, mm -hmm. or I'm not ready, or I'm so emotional mm -hmm. <laughs> that I can't possibly know what's good for right. us. <laughs> uh, yeah, Bentley's has been around for a long time, and I think they're staunch supporters of choice um, yeah. And uh, they've been very gracious in in letting me put up weird stuff. Yeah. I think if anyone is going to have a coffee date uh, this month, they should go to Bentley's. Um, there you go. Yeah. They should see they should see the work of local Tucson and Arizona artists, um, national artists, international artists, um, and. 100% of any art purchase they make goes directly to Planned Parenthood.